thing is at six. Welcome to our city council meeting tonight. It's good to see you out here. We're going to go ahead and get started. Connie, could you please call the roll? Here. Gray. Here. Cheatham. Here. Johnston. Here. Lurick. Here. Manon. Here. Black. Here. Thank you. If you'd please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, after which, if you'd remain standing for an invocation, which will be offered by Pastor Brian Griffin from the Pocatello Baptist Church. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Father God, we come before you tonight, Lord, we thank you and praise you for the blessing to be able to call upon your name. Lord, right now we want to praise you uh, for these men and women who have uh, graciously uh, taken up their time and their life, Lord, to provide the service to this city that we need, Lord. We pray a special blessing upon them, that you direct their mouths, their hearts, and their minds, Lord, as they seek to direct us into the future. Pray a special blessing upon this city, this community, and all those servants that serve us. In your son Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. We'll go ahead and move on to agenda. Item number three is a consent agenda. The following business items may be approved by one motion and a vote. If any one member of the council so desires, any matter listed can be moved to a separate agenda item. A, minutes. Council may wish to waive the oral reading of the minutes and approve the minutes of, and approve the minutes from the clarification meeting of September 20, 2018 and October 4, 2018 and the minutes from the September 20, 2018 and October 4, okay, let me start over again. October 4, regular city council meeting. Okay. Boy, that was tough. B, treasurer's report. Council may wish to consider the treasurer's report for September showing cash and investments as of September 30, 2018. Joyce, how are you tonight? Good. Tonight I'm presenting the treasurer's report for the month of September 2018. Total cash and cash equivalents represent 91% of city's money, totaling $44,974,630. Total long-term investments represent 9% of city's money, totaling $4,652,231. For total cash, cash and equivalents and long-term investments of $49,626,862. This amount is down $1,831,942 for the month of September. On page two of the report, I've highlighted key receipts for the month. Police grants, $28,883. Transit grant, Idaho, State of Idaho, $48,429. Transit Grant Federal, $72,918. The remaining section details the net change in cash and long-term investments for the city. On page three of the report is the report on the trust funds, total cash and cash equivalent, $1,174,664. Total long-term investments, $4,027,924 for total cash, cash equivalent, and long-term investments of $5 million. $202,588. Total cash receipts for, for the month are $171,162, and the total disbursements, $54,843. Net change in long-term investments, a negative $151,161, for an overall decrease to the trust funds of $34,842 for the month. On page four of the report, I've listed all the funds that were their respective cash balance, any cash balance, and the net change for the month. And I've highlighted the general fund, which is at $10,640,550 at the end of September. Page five of the report is discussion and analysis for your review. And page six of the report is the five-year trend of all funds and their respective cash balances. And as you can see, we're in a very strong, healthy position. We have three funds that are negative, but they are covered by grants for the Transit Urban Fund and grants for the CDBG Entitlement Fund. 
And for the ambulance fund, we wait until after our final adjudication of expenses for the fiscal year 2018, and then we send a final billing to the county, and this is covered by a receivable at that time. This is a strong position to pass the court again to the city. Super. Council, any questions for Joyce? Thank you, Joyce. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I move we approve the consent agenda. Second. We have a motion by uh, Council President Johnston and a second by Adamson. Connie, could you please call the roll? Johnston? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Gray? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Clerk? Yes. Manon? Yes. Thank you. We'll move to agenda item four, communication and proclamations. We do not have any proclamations, but I think there's a scout that walked in. If you would stand up and, uh, did I guess right? No, actually, this is for school. All right, well, what school are you? Stand up. I'm going to make you stand up anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what school do you go to? Uh, I go online school, Queen's Academy. Fantastic. Thank you for being here tonight. Are you a school student, too? Do you want to stand up or no? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> where, are you, where are you from? <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Thank you for being with us today. That's good. I don't see any other students or scouts, and so thank you for joining us. We'll move to agenda item five is in calendar review. Council may wish to take this opportunity to inform other council members of upcoming meetings and events that should be called to their attention. On October 23 at 1.30 p.m. will be a school district, number 25 joint cities, Bannock County, meeting at the school district offices. October 23 at 3 p.m. will be a special city council meeting. Uh, November 1st at 5.30 p.m. will be a clarification meeting. November 1st at 6 p.m. will be a regular council meeting. November 8th at 9 a.m. will be a work session. Other events on October 27th will be Zoo Boo annual event from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. At, at Zoo Idaho. As a reminder, early voting uh, continues at Bannock County Elections Office, 141 North 6th Avenue. Voting hours are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. The last day to vote early is November 2nd. Annual leave collection will be scheduled from for November 5th through November 30th. Leaves must be placed in compostable bags, not boxes or plastic bags. These will be taken to the Bannock County Landfill uh, compost site. Okay, we'll move on to agenda item six, a public hearing, fiscal year 2019 program projects transit. This time has been set aside for council to receive comments from the public regarding approval of the following grant assistant <coughs> projects for public transit. A, Federal Transit Administration, Rural Idaho Transportation Department grants 5311 and 5339 in the amount of $1,087,415 for fiscal year 2019. Required local match is $350,401. No city funds are used for the rural program. B, Federal Transit Administration, Urban Grant 5307 is in the amount of $1,551,134 for fiscal year 2019 with a local share of $755,284. Local share is available in the 2019 public transit budget. C, authorize the public transit director to make necessary amendments and modifications related to the grant subject to legal department review. I declare the public hearing open. Skyler, if you would come on up and... Anything specific that I need to share with the hunter? We would uh, just go ahead and explain what we're doing with these grants, just an overview of what we're doing so the public would know. So these grants uh, on, on both sides on our rural program and the urban program, this is our operating funds that we use uh, in short. Um, so this is our bread and butter grants, if you will. Um, and we look at Encompass everything in general. Um, and so this is our annual grants that we receive from the Federal Transit Administration on annual. Any questions for Skyler? Well, 
No dollars involving the city's budget, correct? On the, on the rural side, correct, yep. Super. Any other questions? <clears throat> That may have been the fastest report we've seen, so <laughs> thank you. Don't go far. We may, you may uh, be back up here in a minute. Uh, we would look for any testimony. Oh, have we had any correspondence before you leave there? No. Have we received any in the clerk's office? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Then we would look for any testimony supporting the application. Any testimony uncommitted to the application. Any testimony opposed to the application? Okay, uh, with as much as you have said up here earlier, I'm quite confident you probably don't want to come back up and say anything. So with that, I declare the public hearing closed. Council, this item is before you. How do you wish to proceed? Mr. Mayor. Councilman Bray. Uh, Mayor, I move that we approve the uh, Physical Gear 2019 program uh, projects grant subject to the uh, Stipulations detailed in A, B, and C. Second. We have a motion by Bray and a second by Johnston. <coughs> Connie, could you please call the roll? Bray? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Lurick? Yes. Manon? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item seven, final plat, Lilac subdivision. Steve Theobald, represented by Rocky Mountain Engineering and Surveying, has submitted a final plat application to subdivide 2.99 acres, more or less, into 13 residential lots. The subdivision is to be known as Lilac Subdivision and is located on an extension of Lilac Street west of Hawthorne Road. At their meeting on July 11, 2018, Planning and Zoning Commission recommended approval with conditions. Mr. Mayor, I think we, um, I wanna make, I wanna move a motion to approve agenda item number seven for Lilac subdivision. Subject With subject to legal review or and approval. Conditions. And conditions. Second. We have a motion by Manon and a second by Johnston. Connie, could you please call the roll? Manon? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Bray? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Lurick? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item eight, final plat, Juniper Reserve Division Two, Juniper Land Corp. Represented by Rocky Mountain Engineering and Surveying has submitted a final plat application to subdivide 6.15 acres, more or less, into 11 residential lots. The subdivision is to be known as Juniper Reserve Division Two and is located on an extension of Shadow Pines Way east of Juniper Reserve Division One. At their meeting on January 10, 2018, the Planning and Zoning Commission recommended approval with conditions. Councilman Bray. Mr. Mayor, I, I move that we approve the uh, uh, final plat for Juniper Reserve Division subject to the conditions. Second. We have a motion by Bray and a second by Adamson. Connie, could you please call the roll? Bray? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Cheatham? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Lurick? Yes. Manon? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item nine, grant application airport. Council may wish to approve a grant application and authorize the mayor to sign the grant offer and any other per pertinent documents if awarded for a grant from the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, under the airport improvement program in the amount of $4 million. The projects are to be completed under the grant, including rehabilitation of taxiway A North, terminal apron, FBO apron, heavy aircraft apron, replacement of electrical vault, beacon, and rehabilitation and widening of taxi, taxiway A2. The grant will require 6.25% local match, which will be funded using airport passenger facility charge, PFCs. I'd like to ask Ben a few questions. Okay. Just because I want to see him up here. Okay. What kind of time is going to be required to do this major project and will that impact, I mean assuming it's going to go into next year, will that impact the uh, uh, retardant being spread on fires? It should not. Uh, I think April of 2019 is when we're planning to do the projects, and uh, so the summertime is when we would see the aircraft come out for fire operations. So I don't believe that uh, this project would impact the fire operations at all, sir. Okay. 
Great. Thank you. Yes. Any other questions for Ben while he's up here? Okay. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, guys. Mr. Mayor. Councilman Cheatham. I move approval of agenda item number nine, the grant application for the airport, and authorize the mayor to sign the grant offer and any other pertinent documents. Second. We have a motion by Cheatham and a second by Johnston. Connie, could you please call the roll? Cheatham? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Adamson? Yes. Bray? Yes. Lurie? Yes. Manon? Yes. Thank you very much. We'll move to agenda item number 10, discussion items, and nobody has signed up for that, so we'll jump to agenda item number 11, and we are adjourned. Thank you very much, Council, for your, for your work today.